Hello everyone, welcome back to your Football Manager channel and we have 1400 subscribers, thank you very much for your support uh, This is Full Time FM, where we're playing the Wonder Kids series at Burnley and sorry for the last episode being like an hour and three quarter long I was not going to stop recording until I got a win um, <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed, shall we say in uh, the team last week so what I've done is because uh, we're playing Preston today um, in the Carabao Cup third round cup game so we can actually use our squad a little bit so I'm just going to 4-4-2 Messlier's in goal Frimpong, Mbiamba, Howard Bellis and the new lad Fector the left back, the new gem we signed uh, that completes the defence. We got Sancho, Mariba, Ahata, and McNeil in midfield. And we got Esposito and Burkhardt up front. Uh, on the bench, we got Svilla, Armini, Matheson, Clarkson, Lainez, Saka, and Parrot. So, we're going to submit that team. These players, pretty much all of them short of match fitness, uh, except for Fector, who needs a number. And that's. Pretty high number. We used all the. Okay, in the entire first team, under 23s and under 18s, we have 75 players. That's a bit much. I've registered all 75 with a number, but that's a bit much. And we can see here we've got uh, our new gen factor in there, Michael Factor, making his debut. Uh, they're playing a cautious 4 2 3 1 with defensive midfielders. Uh, Preston uh, look a pretty good team Joe Rafferty normally a right back he's a uh, former Rochdale player should be interesting to see how he gets on and I haven't got an assistant yet so we do need to find one after this game um, oh god right I have faith in you to make the difference boys get out Give him a good hammering. It's a local derby. Preston versus Burnley, a Lancashire derby. You do not want to lose these. If you lose these, um, you've basically lost the fans. Uh, let's be honest. So we're going to be attacking his Frimpong. Crossing for Burkhardt. Oh, point blank. Keeper Rudd makes a save. Jeez. And uh, Cross comes in from the corner. A Hatteran gives it Sancho. Frimpong now gives it back to Sancho who's going to take his man on he does Ledson tackles him Frimpong picks it up and crosses Esposito's pushed over by Pearson there surely and I think Sebastiano Esposito is going to take the penalty as well against Rudd go left go left oh he's gone left and scored good lad Sebastiano Esposito gets his first goal of the season the number 17, and he loves that. He won the penalty, and uh, look at that, he gave him the eyes. He looked like he was going all right, didn't he? Um, so that's good, good penalty. Tom Barkhausen throws us in for Maguire. Handball ref. I thought I was handball then. Keeper made a good miss, uh, good save there. Oh dear. Um, Burkhart's twisted his knee. Looks like he needs to come off. Jeez. He's fired up though. Must have been given a kick. So I had to run to McNeil. Watch Burkhart score now. McNeil's going to cross it. Bauer heads it out. I had to run. It finds Burkhart. Oh! Was he fouled? Is that a penalty? Oh, he's impeding a hat around for a free kick. Mariba will take it. Oh, top bags. Ilax Mariba, first goal of the season. Whipped it around the ball. Back of the net. Thought you'd love it when a plan comes together. Look at that. Bend on that. Mariba again with a free kick. Oh, it's the post. Oh my word, Rudd made a save then, I think from uh, Esposito on the follow-up. 
That's Harwood Bellis, Ty Hatteran. Finds Burkhart. Oh. Tackled and it's booted upfield. Howard Bellis will chase that and get onto it. And Biamba gives it to Frimpong out wide. It's took a man on and beat him. Plays it in Esposito. Lazy, lazy shot. Rudd makes an easy save. And uh, I think we'll sub Burkhardt at half time for um, Troy Parrot maybe. It's Barkhouse and the Pearson. Brown sends it to Ledson, who looks for Joe Rafferty out wide. Right foot, he plays Josh Ginnelly in. And uh, Messlier with a good save down low at his near post. Brown will put the corner in. Ledson's header over. And uh, let's make that sub now rather than at half time. So Burkhart comes off. Troy Parrott goes on. There we go. Troy Parrott, our wonder kid. Here he is. Putting one in for Esposito. Oh, he's only been on the field literally a minute and he's crossed for Esposito to score. Just a brilliant, brilliant impact. 3 0 before half time. Fector throws it to Parrott. Esposito. Gets the header that I think went over Bauer. 3-0. We are coasting. Absolutely coasting. And uh, Ariemi, Karim Ariemi, our uh, striker on loan to Leicester, has scored against Man United. That's good. This lad here, who's he? Ryan Cassidy. 21 year old striker from Tottenham. Right, let's go to the dressing room. Andy Fowl says, Tell the boys they've done well. Keep it going, lads. They all look extremely delighted. Um, We go 3 0. A lot of green on that field right there. From Pong to Esposito, Sancho to Mariba. Oh, is it the post? Ben Davis clears it. And praise the boys, see if that works. It does, it fires them up. Mariba has got 9. Esposito 8.6. Let's see. Um, who am I going to bring on? Um, Nicolo Armini needs a game. That's for sure. So let's take off Taylor Harwood Bellis for Nicolo Armini. Um, Diego Lainez needs a game really so Dwight McNeil is complacent right well let's move him on a different wing let's play Diego Lainez there we go give him 20 minutes or so bit of a run out Burkhard got a 6.6, .6, Sancho got a 6.8, Howard Bellis got a 7.1. Probably could and should have done better. Oh, nice. No, Pasito's been injured. Ah, oh, potential arm injury. That'll be a break, won't it? Oh, God. Right. Um. Cole Armini, who ball playing defender, he defends. Uh, Dwight McNeil on that right hand side, being inverted winger that attacks. Ooh. Diego Linez, you'd be 
So when you get attacks there, especially in Esposito, you my friend are just going to have to bite out the two minutes you've got to play. Right. There you go, he's come off injured. Oh, Frimpong's come off injured. Two players potentially injured in the 96th minute. Have a day off. Oh my word, two big injuries right there. Jeremy Frimpong and Sebastiano Esposito both got injured in injury time. Ah, that's horrible. 27 shots, 15 on target, 54% possession. Good 3 0 win. Right. Very happy with you boys, well done. Let's go have a look at how bad these injuries are before we play Newcastle. Um, that's just. Ah. So we're into the fourth round. Injury worry. Mm. Dan Petrescu claims we lack class. Well, he's a dick. Right, he's broke his wrist. He's going to be out for six weeks to two months. Right. Um, I can send him to a specialist for five grand. Six weeks to seven weeks. We'll do that. Pulled knee ligaments for Jeremy Frimpong. Two to three weeks. Burkhart twisted knee five to eight days. Ah, oh, three injuries. Right, effect to the um, young new gen. 16 tackling, 16 work rate and jumping reach. 19 stamina, 17 determination. Um, pretty good. Let's uh, praise his training. There you go, always helps. Let's sort out some defending training for him. Move the ball into his left foot before dribbling, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll get him working on his ball control because that's dribbling, first touch and technique. So that should help develop him, develop him in that. And... Mariba, classy Mariba gets a 9. Great free kick. And uh, he's done really well. Burnley received 13.13 million for qualifying the European Champions Cup group stages. Get in. Um, let's see. Ooh. Newcastle an offer for Barco. Burnley finalised Watson deal. Good. Everton made an offer for 33 million for Rhys James, rising to 41 million. He's a good player. They lost out on Frimpong, didn't they? Transfer deadline for English clubs in one week. I'm not going to do any more transfers, I don't think. Arsenal make Bailey offer that's instantly rejected. 55 million, no thanks. Hidalgo set to sign for Burnley. 3.3 million. Good young player. Um, so, he's a right winger. Uh, technique 14, crossing, first touch and passing all 13. Work, way, work rate 13, teamwork 16, flair 14, aggression 17, um, agility 16. Jumping reach, pace, 15. Stamina, 13. Acceleration, 14. Runs with a ball down right. Tries to kill the balls often and cuts inside from both wings. Uh, Right-sided wing winger. So, interestingly enough, he's competent at playing left wing back. Okay. 
175 grand um 3.3 million we're paying so from Belenenses in uh, Portugal so hopefully he'll be a good player he's already scored four goals in 34 games for them 18 year old and he's English so he will help with our European uh, qualification when it comes to registering players okay so who we're we gonna draw um, really we've been drawn in group A with Apoel Limassol the Cypriot first division who I think we can beat then at St. Petersburg Russian Premier League I think we can beat but Atletico de Madrid any other team in there Ooh, let's have a quick look at Madrid Um, you got Antonio Ardan, the goalkeeper. Uh, Jesus is who is he? Jesus. Um, Nuhan Perez is a very good defender, actually. Um, Luis Felipe, really good defender, elite centre back. Rigera. I don't know why they've got some players that you know I can't see. They do have Federico Chiesa and Thomas Lamar. All right, Bruno Gomez, Stephen Al uh the right back Dodo. They got Sol, um, the midfielder. I'm I'm looking at this and I'm they got Marco Canna. Ah, oh, all right. Um, he's a wonder kid I'm looking at this and I'm I'm not that worried Finley Robertson Scottish defensive midfielder 19 uh, long listed hmm I'm I'm honestly not worried I think we can beat them. I think we can actually top this group. I think we're going to be fine. Right. Newcastle are playing a 4-4-2. They've got Marco Arnautovic on the left wing. Cavani up front. Edison Cavani. Um, Bernardo at left back. Edson Alvarez is a good defender. Nikola Katic as well. Oh, it's Simon and Mingle in goal. Emil Smith Rowe. Um, okay. Right. Let's get to this Newcastle game. Now, do you remember when I was saying I was looking for an assistant manager? On that list that it recommended, there was one man that stood out. Roy Keane people, we have Roy Keane as our new assistant manager. Level of discipline, 20. I spoke with Brian Keady on YouTube and me and Brian decided these boys, some of them are thinking they've got a guaranteed place and they might need a kick in the arse. Well, motivating 17, level of discipline 20, determination 18. Roy Keane is my new assistant manager. And uh, I think we're going to check in on Brian Keady as well right now. Tottenham made an offer of £77 million for Declan Rice. Ooh. Um, here's Declan Rice, isn't it? Um, let's see if they can do 90. They'll do 70 million up front and 20 million in later payments for Declan Rice. So we're 43 million and we're being offered 90. Boys, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Um, 
All right, C. Okay, Newcastle. Keane completes Burnley move. Uh, Cole Bramblers. Cole is basically Irish for Cork. Um, he was born in Cork. He was born in Mayfield in Cork, actually. On 10th of August 1971. Uh, playing career which spanned 17 years. From 1989 to 2006, Keane made 463 appearances and scored 57 goals. After making his Ireland debut against Chile in May 1991, he went on to make 67 appearances and scored 9 goals for his country. Keane, who's now 51, has accumulated 15 years of experience with the likes of Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa. Um, basically, um, I think when it comes to motivation, we can't find somebody other than Roy Keane to really motivate the players um, more than... I think he can. Let's see, Brian Keady. He's still manager at Huddersfield. So, tactical 20. Wow. Determination 20. I've not altered these, by the way. This is what he was. Oh, I did alter his age. Um, Brian Keady, I would have back tomorrow as uh, my assistant for sure. Lewis O'Brien. He's from Rochdale, uh, from Milnrow in Rochdale. He's a decent player, him, very good. Um, he's more of a left midfielder than a central midfielder, to be honest. Um, let's have a little look at their players and how they're lining up. So they're lining up in a 4 2 3 1. You've got Bettinelli in goal, uh, Duhani, Burke, Kelly, and Purrington across the back, Bakuna and O'Brien in midfield. Nunez, Pritchard and Alioski playing behind Juba. I think Juba's a big Russian centre forward, you know. Yeah, 34 year old, 6 foot 5. He was the guy they were playing long ball to in the last tournament. Um, let's have a little look there. They even got Jeffrey Schlupp. There you go. Tom Kearney, Jake Bidwell. Some decent players there, you know. Um, they're looking pretty good. They're sixth in the Skybet Championship. Um, currently they've played six, won three, drawn one, lost two. Got ten points. They're actually doing better than we are, uh, which is good. So we'll keep an eye on them. We'll see how they do. M. Rogers, Rochdale, has got the most player of the match awards. Huh. Striker, centre forward, finishing 12. Hmm. Looks like a young lad. So Rochdale are in the championship. Oh, they're down the bottom. Uh, <laughs> gutted. 22nd. Um, played 5. Won 1, drawn 1, lost 3, minus 4 goal difference, 4 points on the board. Um, Shrewsbury are there as well. Okay, all right. Um, and this Rogers has got two player to match award uh, so far, so that's good. Let's get to this Newcastle game now properly. Okay, so for the Newcastle game, we're going to play a Nana in goal: Matheson, Armini, Eduardo, Caresma, and Miranda across the back. Um, Paolo Bernardo, the young midfield wonder kid we signed uh, newly signed he comes in with Sandro Tonali Cristante the new gem player the Argentinian right winger comes in and uh, he'll play right wing Thiago Almada back from Arsenal he's improved quite a lot so he's going to come in and be uh, at number 10 Vinicius Junior on the left Haaland up front and we'll get to have a little look at some of these lads um, so we'll have, um, I should think, a pretty good young attacking side here. Um, 
Now we're going to have a look at Svilla, Taribo, Ahrens, Nelson, Saka, Clarkson and Havertz on the bench. Kai Havertz getting way too big for his boots. Stormzy style. He's not performed well enough. I can't remember the last good game. Well, Roy Keane, he uh, motivated Paolo Bernardo. I can't actually remember the last good game Kai Havertz had. So on that basis, I've dropped him. Because uh, like Brian Keady said, you know, some of these players are getting too big for the boots. Thinking a guaranteed a game. And uh, we'll snap that right out of them straight away. So Newcastle on the defence in their left back slot with Bernardo. Katic looks to spread the play to Brian. Brian Gill coming forward. Looking to switch play again, but Matheson intercepts. Cristante back to Matheson. Line it. Go on, always beat two of them on the wing. He's running. Keeps on going. He's played it back to Sandro Tonali. Tonali's looking for the run of... Uh, Miranda who crosses for Haaland gets a little nod on that and it hits the uh, side netting. Well, it's a little bit more positive. We, we countered the attack there. That's that's pretty good. Um, Matheson to Paolo Bernardo. Inside to Matheson again. Oh, he's been tackled but picks up the ball crosses. Katic takes off the head of Haaland. Thiago Amara picks it up on the 18 yard box. Left foot smashes one into the top right hand corner in the 12th minute and Burnley are winning 1-0 against Newcastle. Thiago Almada, you naughty, naughty skillful beast. Look at this for a hit. Beats his man. Boom, left foot. Oh, top bags. Net ripples and everything. Oh, he's giving the net ripples. He's giving the net ripples. So, we move up to sift. Where we would have played 5, won 2, drawn 2, lost 1. Um, that gives us uh, 8 points, I think. Arnautovic plays in Cavani and shoots wide. Good closing down there by Charisma. Uh, so, we're currently in sift. I'll take that for now. I do need to improve. Brian Gill being closed down there on the left. Ben Taleb gives it to Ed, uh, Edson Alvarez. Brian Gill shoots and it's wide for Newcastle. We're going to have to just tell the players to get creative here. Um, Arsenal have played 5, won 4, drawn 1. Um, they got 13 points. Almada and Miranda linking up. Haaland heads Miranda's cross just onto the crossbar. Bit of an exciting game this one now, isn't it? Matheson to Armini, who's been booked. Cristante cuts inside, the number 77, the new debutant, new gen. Plays it back to Tonali. Moves back towards the right-hand side to help Matheson. Who's taking his man on on his own here. Oh, he beats him twice. Beats a second man and tame shot against C uh, Simon Mingale there. That's... Uh, Something you, where you want to see him improve and perhaps do a little bit better. Uh, Cristante's not performed tremendously well today. Uh, 6.4. Oh, Kino. Matheson's gained confidence, but, uh, you know, I would have expected a little bit more. Right, so hopefully few of those players gained a little bit of confidence. Looks like our wingers have not been doing that great. So, we'll just have a little look at team instructions. Playing fairly wide. Let's, let's play more narrow. Let's bring him in a little bit. Let's get him to underlap as well because and shorter passing. Let's see if that helps a little bit. We'll distribute to target man. And... I don't think they've got anything. I mean, Obafemi's quick, isn't he? So I don't think they've got too much there that can hurt us. Yeah, Obafemi, 18 acceleration, 16 agility, balance 17, pace 18, stamina and strength 16. So yeah, he, he could actually hurt us. So let's let's just maintain a, a normal standard line, maybe. 
Mm. Maybe if we played a lower line of defence and then opened a bit of space up. Oh no, here's Cavani through. Oh, he's just smashed one. Passed on Anna. Let's go very attacking. Team instructions. Let's play a lower defensive line. Watch Cavani hit this one now. Katic looks for Bernardo. It's a long ball over the top of our defence. Cavani turns his man and... Oh, Nana sliding there. It's the inside of the post. Finishes up behind the line towards the other end of the post. That's a, that's a good hit. Just got to give him that one. It is Cavani after all. So... Stante is not playing well. Um, good, good claim there by Anana. I think Cristante might be a player we bring off. Anana now forward. Miranda stretching his legs, twenty yards out, twenty-five yards. Has a pop. Let's let's have a little look here. So Vinicius Junior and Cristante. I've not even seen Vinicius Junior in this game. Not playing great, are they? So, let's bring Saka on for Vinicius Jr. Let's bring Reese Nelson on for Cristante. Um, let's see what else we can do. Um, Armini's not... He's been booked. He's not playing terrific. So, let's bring on Jean-Claude Tadibo. And uh, see what he can do. It's time to show some passion as well. Let's fire him up a little bit. 68 minutes played. Here's Katic. See, they can't get behind us now, so they're struggling. They're knocking around the back. And uh, Alvarez looks to switch it. Miranda headed it to Saka. Gives it to Tonali. Paolo Bernardo looks for Nelson. Knocks it down for Matheson, who comes inside. Gives it back to Paolo Bernardo. That's a great ball to Saka. Bekeo Saka lays it back. Tonali, Bernardo, Almada, it's nice football. Paolo Bernardo looking for Nelson, he's got the legs. Paolo Bernardo shots blocked, Sandro Tonali. Almada, oh, shoots wide. Right, boys, it's time to show some passion. A few of them look a bit aggrieved at that. Let's, that's the assistant to. Uh, very keen to do a few things. Let's demand more from them. We're not playing bad here. It's just we're not getting the opportunities. Oh, man. 1-1 one, one away to Newcastle. It's not what we want. That's for sure. Marcos Cristante, the right winger, 6.3. That is very disappointing. Um, to give him a right royal, uh, Roy Keane rollicking. That's a hard thing to say. Right royal, Roy Keane rollicking. Um, let's have a little look at Cristante. Uh, Bernardo impresses on his debut. Okay. Armada shines. Um, well done, mate. Let's just have a quick look at Cristante here. I know he's quick. Right winger. Marcos Cristante. Technique 17. First touch and free kick, free kick taking 16. Corners 15. Uh, dribbling and passing 13. Those are his technicals. His physicals. Acceleration and balance 17. Agility 16. Pace 15. He's a good young player. He just had a bad game there today, didn't he? Um, scored two goals in 48 appearances for Racing in uh, Argentina. So, let's get him working on something. Um, try and kill the balls. There you go. So he's not really got anything there at the moment that um, you could really pick out. Let's have him... Uh, let's see. What can we do? 
think maybe crossing and technique because he's going to be trying killer balls so let's try to cross him and uh, well Marcos Cristante decent young looking player but just I don't know just terrible game that day I think part of the problem is is the players are not really that fit at this moment in time. We've got an under-23 game coming up uh, and an under-18 game coming up. I think what I might do is just make all the players available for that game um, because those two games are probably... because we, we don't play Chelsea for another 13 games but those two, two games right there, they could um, provide a bit of match sharpness for some of the lads. So, um, Zaniolo gets the job done for Liverpool. Antonio Dantas. See a new signing. He's a new gen. Centre midfielder, passing 17. As is his aggression. Vision 16. Technique 15. Looks good. 18 year old Portuguese lad. The board have announced that due to concerns over the wage budget, they've decreased percentage of transfers retained to 80%. Well, there you go. Covered. 50 grand um, under budget and now 25, 26 million in the bank. Uh, increase. Let's see. Ah. Coaches allowed for Burnley. Enhanced performance. Good. They're allowing it. Physios allowed for Burnley. Yep. Yeah, looking to do that. Um, so, number of coaches increased. First team coaches increased to 19. Wow. First team physios now 15. Oh my god, they've gone sick with the coaching staff. So, we're allowed three more physios. Um, I've got one more sports scientist than I should have, apparently. We're allowed one coach. Um, let's see. Coaching. Employed, new. No. Okay. Who can we get? Anderson Marrera. 16 man management, 17 motivating, 18 working with youngsters. Um, let's see. Dennis Burkamp. He's under a transfer bid from following clubs Rochdale. Rochdale are literally after Dennis Burkamp. Okay. I'm going to leave him to you then, Rochdale. It's just, you know. Eddie Howe. I'll try and get Eddie Howe. Let's. Okay, contract. Approach sign. Uh, ah, he's not interested. Okay. Include realistic. Right. Employed now, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So if Eddie Howe was realistic, why? Why won't he come? David Lee. Ica Casillas. Ironically, not very good at goalkeeping, but Good at technical and defending and motivating. Let's have a look, see if we can get Ike Casillas. Okay, we can. Under 18's coach. I need you to be my senior coach, mate. Okay, so we're going to get Ike Casillas. Recruitment, we're 
add a couple more scouts. I definitely need some physios. Medical physio. Uh, coaching attributes. Medical team attributes. Abdul Radisi. Approach sign him. 20 physio. Oh man. There you go. That's one physio sorted. Um, let's have Oliver Needham. Adaptability 19, physiotherapy 18. Let's have him. And why do I keep going up there? Jesus. I keep going to save the bleeding game. Um, I do actually need, need to save the game. That's Oliver Needham. Uh, Richie Wall Rawlins, 19. Let's have him. Approach, sign him. Uh, yeah, I want you for senior physio mate there we go so that should be the physios and the coaching staff sorted transfer window closes soon um, and let's have a catch up with that in the next episode because though this to be a massively long episode again I can see myself getting dragged into it uh, Declan Rice has agreed to leave uh, the club um, alright so board have agreed 57 million will be added to the transfer budget the fee is 90 million and we're only getting 57 well there you go ah well Declan Rice is on his way um, so heads up about Harland He's happy. He's all right. Um, let's see what happens. Anyway, thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video and share it if you can. Um, definitely have a look at the members thing and all the Patreon and all that stuff. Professional YouTubers, I suppose, saying I'm just can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> Just watch the videos. Best thing you can do is watch the videos and comment. If you just stick the number one or the letter A in the comment, um, I will like it. I will heart it because that helps with the algorithm. I don't know how. I don't understand it. But every comment I get helps with the algorithm. So even if you don't want to say anything, just, you know, um, just stick the number one in there. Um, Tottenham have made a non-negotiable £98 million offer for Martin Bailey. Christ, they want Declan Rice and Martin Bailey. 90 million <laughs> they've just spent on Rice. Now they want to spend 98 million on Martin Bailey. Um, no. Rejected. Martin Bailey is a Burnley legend and will stay as a Burnley legend. Pure and simple. Anyway. Hope you all like it. Anyway, thank you very much for thank you very much for joining um, and watching today. There's more videos every day. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye now.